Which one is the most orange? Oh, what the world? That's pretty frustrating, right? But you know what's not frustrating? Well, our new video is coming out here on YouTube. Now, here's a mini sample before we get today's lecture started. Fibrillation fireworks is the best way to remember V-Fib, the most deadly rhythm of all time. One of only two rhythms that you actually defibrillate or shock. Now, the other one is pulseless v tack So, what is V-Fib? Well, ventricular fibrillation is a chaotic pattern of electrical activity in the ventricles in which electrical impulses arise from many different foci. All right, guys, before we get started, don't forget to do two things. First of all, subscribe right here so you can see all of our new videos coming out here on YouTube first before they get locked in our video vault at simplenursing.com. And also click right up there to your free demo to our new quiz bank, as well as 1,200 videos not here on YouTube. All right, guys, let's get our oldies webcam video started right here. Now, before we start this blood pressure lecture, you must understand the difference between ARBs and ACE inhibitors. Also, the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. Use this melody from the Beastie Boys. Now, here's a little story I got to tell about three enzymes you don't know well. Started way back in the kidneys with renin, aldosterone, and AMG. It had a blood pressure that's way too high. Doctor put me on a diet and exercise. But renin, aldosterone, and AMG won't release sodium from my kidneys. What first line drug we like to use? Ace inhibitors, now don't get confused. They prevent NG1 from converting NG2, thereby block aldosterone too. Looking for a prill, I ran into Satan. His name is they are beating it, let me help you understand. Myself. I'm not an ace inhibitor, I'm something else. Arb is my class, I tend my last name, and I block NG2 in a certain way. I still have those patients with hypertension, but not like ACE that stops conversion. NG2, a very potent chemical, causes muscles to contract around the vessel. This narrowing increases the blood pressure, so I block NG2 at a certain receptor. Because hypertension is a risk factor of getting CAG and heart failure. The benefits of lowering your blood pressure will help your renal and cardiovascular. You're watching this video, and I hope you learn them. You took the stories over, but it's ready to begin. Alright guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at SimpleNursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course, as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And last, but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.